this is now 24 hours later. Uh, today is January the 15th, 2021. Don't hit that one. Um, we're back in Mama J's Country Kitchen. We are at part two and the final stage of making our kimchi, okay? And we create a brine. Let me tell you what. In each one of these big dishes that I have here, these big bowls, they were filled to the top with our Napa cabbage chopped up because that's how I want this to be, just edible size pieces. And... Um, I had to put a plate on top and I had a bowl and a glass on them to hold them down. Remember, we uh, tossed them a few times every 30 minutes last night. And we ran off the brine for which he created each time. Well, so, it's 24 hours later. And I'm going to take the tops off so you can see what we got. Remember, this was filled to the top, and look where it's at now. I'm going to take this plate off. This plate off. So I have the radishes. I have the napa cabbage. I have the napa. Now this can all fit into one big bowl. So I, I bought this. I got this oil pan. I'm going to use this to mix the paste. And to create the paste, mix it in here. And then I'm going to take the ingredients and put everything in here and massage it together. Um, okay, that's what's going to happen now. So let me tell you what I got here. Oh, this is beautiful. Just let me tell you this is God. Do you believe that? I do. Okay, this is God. All right? Let me tell you. Oh, my God. So this is... This is how you know that this is ready. Can you see this is this camera lady? See that? It, it's not brittle or anything like that. It's flexible. Okay? It's good to eat. All right. Then let me tell you what happened. This bowl gave me a pint of brine. You got that? This is a pint of brine that came off of of this bowl. I'm keeping it together for a reason. Pint of brine. Okay. From this bowl. I don't know how much this is going to make. Because remember I only used one head of Napa cabbage. I used one Chinese cabbage. I used one. That was a pretty nice size. I could have create made two. But I just want to show you how this all comes together. And if I have to make more, I just do. And I'm sure I will. Um, okay. Here's the radish. Remember, it was filled up too. All right. There we go. And here's the brine that came off the radish. All right. Here's the brine from the radish. Just a little, a little, a little less than, well, I took these brines up to the top, so it's a little better than a pint in here. But this is exactly a pint, okay? I want to keep the liquids in there, in their containers. Okay? So I'm going to keep moving. If you will remember, I have chopped ginger here. I have chopped horseradish here. I have chopped garlic here. And I don't think any vampires are going near anybody that's going to be consuming uh, <laughs> this chili. This, this, excuse me, this kimchi, okay? Not at all. They're going to be, oh, no, their body is too healthy, okay? This is basil chopped. All right. This is onions and scallions. I'm really easy from here. Um, carrots and bell pepper. I'm gonna put that back. And remember, I chopped up an apple pear 
which is an Asian pear, and I put it in here. This is what I did. So everything is going to come together now. It's going to be one big happy family. That's right. Okay. This is when we put soy sauce in. And if we're making a the vegan um, version, and I will make um, two of them, okay, it will have soy sauce, but it won't have my shrimp uh, mixture. Let me get that, because that's in the refrigerator. Okay. It won't have this in it, okay? And this is salty shrimp. They call it wild salty shrimp. Salty shrimp. Okay, so... The vegan uh, kimchi will have everything except fish sauce and shrimp. They won't. They won't be in there. Okay. Everything else will be in here. Um, and this is when we add the chili flakes. Okay. It's gonna have some cake to it because that's what kimchi does. Um. Now there is another kimchi but it's made with it's mild and it's made with it makes a white sauce okay so that's not what we're doing here today but maybe we'll do that another time all right i think i will all right so let me get going i've got to make a um a sauce all right so i'm making that with um um i would say this is what is it let me look at it. Oh, okay. A quarter cup of flour. That's what this is. I don't have any rice flour. Because you can use rice flour. Okay. But I don't have any rice flour. So I'm using flour. All right. And um, uh, that's going to be two and a half or three cups of the brine. All right. So and two tablespoons of sweetener so what i'm gonna make here so i'm not gonna be talking i told you everything i'm doing and i'm gonna go ahead and heat up my pot and um start pulling it all together okay so i hope you will stay with me see this all the way through i think you'll stay excited i think you will all right so this is my brain. It's got quite an aroma. But that's just cabbage. Cabbage has, has a smell. Not bad. We used to cooking. It's not bad.
So this is going to come to a complete boil. A real big boil. It'll be about 10, 15 minutes. So my sauce that starts my paste is completely ready for me to let it cool down. See how thick that is. Oh my. I um, decided to drop in the horseradish just so that it can get a little flavor it all up and cook them. Um, okay. So I'm going to let this cool down and then um, get ready to mix it all together. Okay. a minute. Okay. And there's no right or wrong order to add all these ingredients. You just, just make sure to just get at it, that's all. So what I'm going to do, because I'm making vegan kimchi as well as uh, regular kimchi, I'm going to make the vegan kimchi first. Then I will add in that that the vegan dish does not receive. Okay. Flakes in here. Ooh, 
Ooh, that smells fresh. the third cup right no excuse me this is a quarter cup right here sorry of soy sauce all right now mix this all in here together I love colorful food. Remember what we're doing. We're playing with our food, but we're going to make this kimchi our own. It's full of all the vegetables that you already that you already eat in your diet. This is just another way of preparing it. If you like carrots and onions and scallions and garlic. So right here. Cabbage. Radish, it's all right here. Good night. I gotta taste this. Okay, I really have to taste this. So I'm gonna take my finger and put it in my hand. Ooh, that's smooth. That's smooth. And that's without anything else in here. I just eat a bowl. Okay, so I have all my gloves. These are going to become my kimchi gloves. Okay. Remember I had on gloves for call the fire department hot sauce. Well, you always going to protect your skin. But this red sauce is going to make my hands be red permanently. Maybe that won't be a bad thing, but I'm proud of me. So I'm going to... Now put in the radishes and the cabbage and then massage them all in here together. Okay. And the next step, I'm going to put them in a jar. I'm going to place, remember that the large leaves that we had? That was the outer leaves. Okay, I'm going to place these on top in a jar. And that holds it down and also keeps everything from it keeps everything fresh, okay? All right, because remember, we're fermenting. We're fermenting cabbage. All right, so that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to jar up for the vegan dish first. And I'm going to label on the top of that jar V. That's how I know that vegan. I'll call it a VK. I'm going to be cool. VK. I mean, vegan kimchi. Okay. All right. Stay with me. All right. What doesn't like to get massage? Well, this cabbage going to get massage. Mm-hmm. Going to be a lot of love in here. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm so happy about this. Okay. God bless everyone who's going to partake in this kimchi. Know that it's coming from a good place. Okay. I always pray over our food. Do you pray over your food? Thanking God for it. Oh, ha, ha. I couldn't wait to dig in here. Dig in there, Mama J. Get in there. I'm getting in there. Ooh. 
you know, this is really relaxing. You know, you, you can release a lot of tension if you have that going on in your life. You can do that in the kitchen. Always go to your kitchen to cook and be in a good spirit. You want you want to always be in a good way spiritually when you're preparing food because it, you want to accept it for the good that for what you're putting into it and all this is good stuff right here. Ooh, look at him. Oh, yeah, babe. Uh-huh. For those kimchi lovers, I hope you'll appreciate my kimchi. For those that have never experienced kimchi before, I hope that you will find that with all the nutrients in this dish, it's very friendly. That's what I call any meal that's good to your body. It's friendly. Okay. Low in carbs. High in fiber. Mm -hmm. There you go. Build your immune system. Yeah. Times like this, we need all the help we can get. This COVID, man, this spreads faster than the chicken pox, the measles, and the mumps. I'm just saying. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. All right, your turn. Come on in here, Radish. Come on and join us. I couldn't wait to get in there. It said, my turn, my turn. When do I get in? Jump on in here. Okay. What's this? This uh, container I got here is perfect. I'm so, so glad I decided to, to pull out my foil pan to mix this up. Oh, I'm smelling this flavor now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Then we can begin to make some new drawers. Um, make sure that those that are on vegan diets, my Diana, Diana, <laughs> this is coming at you, baby. Now, Diana has, Diana lives in California. And I want Diana to make this dish at home, and she probably already does. But guess what? The new thing is Diana will be making it from vegetables from her own garden. She has a garden. But do you have a small space, a big space, or a wide area, or whatever you have, you can grow something. You can grow something, but well, she's growing a lot. Got bragging rights going on in California, uh huh. Beautiful, fresh basil. Oh Lord, it was so pretty. Uh huh. She can do that in California with the temperatures that they had. Yeah. And guess what? Watch out! If she's got her nose wide open now, don't you, Diana? Diana is going to be growing a whole lot. Uh huh. Got green beans. Popping out. You go, girl. The family's loving the cilantro. Nothing like fresh. Fresh out of your own garden. Guess what? Zone 6B, 6, whatever I'm in. You getting ready to do the doggone thing. You just wait. Oh, man, I'm getting so ready for March. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I want you to be, too. To I read to my nephew, I have a vegan version right here for you. I thought of you. I thought of you and Diana. I'm like, uh-huh. Well, yeah, they're going to get some of this. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Gosh. 
I love them so much. And they know I love them. I love people. I love folks. Mama J loves folks, okay? Mama J loves folks. God put us all here for a reason. Each and every one of us have a role. You got to recognize that. You got to recognize that. I've heard people say, I got to find me. Well, where did you lose you at? Where? I'm not teasing anybody. I'm just saying. All right. You know a good place to look? Look in the Word. Look in the Word. It's all right there. Oh, my goodness. This is looking good. You got this in there? Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gave it a good massage. Here we go. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Look at all that pretty. Look at all that pretty in there. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash my glove hands. Get me a couple of jars over here to put my. Um, Vegan kimchi together. I gotta tell you something. I have to taste this. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna get a little taste. I got to. I got to. Oh, I don't know how to turn this water on now. I need to have a taste of this camera, lady. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna have some more radish. And then I'm gonna put cabbage. In my plate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna have got first bit and some sauce on it. It's gonna have that little bit of corn and nobody should miss it. Okay. Alright. So what I have. Now although it, it's you know haven't been sitting for three days yet, two to three days. It's still ready to eat. You can eat now if you want to. Okay. Mm. This is good. This is good. If you like cabbage and you like radish and you like vegetables. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the crunch. That's the crunch. You can put this over rice if you want to. My Aunt Jerry said it. You can put that on a hot dog. Mm-hmm. Put it on a hot dog. Yeah. Uh, you can have none of this, Lula. Mm. Really good. Keep my plate because I'm gonna try it again when I put the shrimp and the fish sauce in. So I'm gonna put my gloves on. I'm already washed most of the other sauce out off my gloves. Hmm, that flavor is so fresh. God, this is good. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna fill my jars now. Get a little bit more in here. And you have. 
have a you need a canning jar set. Canning set. This is one of the pieces, so it helps you get the hair bubbles out. And pack it down. I don't want to take it up too much further because remember it's fermenting. There's no fire. There. Okay. All right. Remember, I wash these top leaves. I'm gonna punch it off because I want to make sure it fits right down in here. That's beautiful. Camera lady, can you pass me the vinegar down there, please? Appreciate that. Remember, we want to keep everything fresh. We really do. It's important. Safe. All that you can do to be safe, you want to do. Put a little vinegar on the paper towel. Okay. Look at this so I can clean the rim. I put the top on. Okay. Here we go. Hang on tight. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to make, um, if you will allow me to do just that, I'm going to make uh, two more of my vegan kimchi. And then we'll come back and we'll make the um, regular kimchi. Okay. Okay, so we finished the vegan kimchi. I have three containers here for my special folks. Okay, and now, uh, and by the way, everybody that shares Mama J's uh, country gardening and country kitchen are all special. I got to tell you that. So everybody got placed on this surf. And those that he's taken beyond are special. All right. So listen. Now we're going to put fish sauce in. I'm going to add a quarter cup. One quart. Uh, I don't want it that heavy. You know what? I'm going to actually. I'm going to put um, a third. 
Let me try with a quarter. Let me go with a quarter and see what happens with this fish sauce. Okay, it's got the shrimp going in too. So it's one one quarter cup is what I'm using of fish sauce. Into that. Now I'm going to open up the shrimp. This has to stay in the refrigerator, by the way. I had it in the refrigerator while we prepare to make this dish. And it's going to go back in the refrigerator. Actually, it should have the little plastic. <laughs> Look at the little plastic um, top they have on here, too. Let me take it out. And I'm gonna add a cup. See if I can get it out. Oops, I need my trusty dusty spoon. This is wild shrimp. You don't have to put this in here if you don't want to. I do. This is an option. You can make your kimchi the way you want. Okay, done with that. I'm gonna put this shrimp in. All right, I'm gonna mix all this in here together. Hmm. Hmm. It should be very flavorful. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead, put my gloves back on. Uh, you know what, Camille, can you pass me two of those tall jars? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to do that like that. Turn the gloves back on. I'm going to put my fingers on it. When did it start?
serving have trouble like this. Okay. This is almost a science project, I told my grandson. He said, okay, Nana, I have biology. Uh, where is she sleeper? I'm going to fill these jars up. Now that I fill these up, I'm going to make more pint jars. Like I tell you, my cousin Jackie has been waiting for me to make kimchi. She's in North Carolina and trust and believe her. We'll be shipping her along. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, great. Let me see if it's here so far. Okay, I get in. All right. And from the tops. Everybody that's sharing my kimchi. Okay. Thank you for hanging out with me. We have completed the entire process. And has been, have been eating, actually, uh, kimchi. So remember, I made two types. I made vegan. And vegan with leaving out a um, couple things from the recipe. You gotta, you gotta watch the entire video. Please do, please. Okay? It's a lot of good information in it. You know, Mama J says, play with your food. Explore. Okay? Broaden your horizon. That's all I'm saying. So now, the, uh, regular kimchi that we made I, I didn't kick the flavor all the way up um, if you want to kick the flavor up a couple of notches and I didn't because I wanted miles to experience it that have never experienced kimchi before and um, they're very happy with it all 10 uh, containers of which you saw that I made have all been um, presenting to folks and, and they've been consuming it. We have a large court for ourselves and um, we've been eating ours too. So 
I just want to tell you I had a good time with this video. I really did. Know that kimchi is a very involved process in order to create that uh, dish. And it goes with a lot of different things. So in future videos, you're going to see, and I'll make more kimchi, you're going to see Mama J's Country Gardening create a video that has the kimchi added to it, okay? Stay tuned for that coming in the future, okay? It's all good. Besides, it goes in the garden. And it's not time for me yet in my zone, but I want to be outside so bad. Zone 9 and, and oh God, zone, zone 9 is out there, okay? I want to be out there. Hey, Mama J was giving a shout out in Row by Row Gardening's video most recently um, posted. I think that video went live on January the 14th, okay? Something like that. I'm not too sure. It was a Thursday. They, they, they do their videos every Thursday, so I think that was January the 14th. At any rate... Uh, they were talking about and, and experiencing my call, the fire department hot sauce. You're going to check that video out too. Anyway, Mama J has a lot of stuff out there. Please uh, support me. Walk this walk with me. Take this journey. It's all good. It's very friendly. And we keep it real. You know, comedy in there too. I can't help where my personality goes. But at any rate, check it out. For everything, give thanks. I'm very thankful for this time I'm able to be with you. I'm very thankful for the fact that you're enjoying me. I'm very excited about a whole lot in this in this day and age. So the gardening industry is booming. The seed industry is booming. And, and, and people are learning new skills. Okay? Now, I want to tell you, please, please, I'm encouraging you to try that recipe. Now, for kimchi. Two things I want you to know. If you want to take up the heat on the kimchi, give it another scoop, another cup of the uh, red chili flakes, okay? Give it another scoop. That'll take the heat level up much higher, all right? If you like it like that. Also, I would say you have the option, of course, to make it any way you want to. You can make it just cabbage. You can make it with cabbage and radish. You can make it with cabbage, radish, and um, the wild shrimp that I put in. You can, you can make it any way you wish. You can make it with cucumbers, okay? Any different way you want. So, so explore, play with your food, play with your food, play with your food, explore, okay? Also, it is very, very nutritious. There's a lot going on with it that, especially in today's day, we need. All right? And building your immunity system. So, I just want to say, you can cut back a little bit on the soy sauce, or you can remove the soy sauce entirely. The fish sauce gives you the flavor um, that brings it all together, okay? I, I learned that. But again, it's up to you. Up to you. You know, you have the choice. Okay? All right. God bless you. See you in the next video.